Hi and welcome to this new video tutorial. This is the second part of the series phase swapping. Uh, let's take a quick look what we have done in the first video and then we will see what we're going to do in this video. So this is where, where we are at at the moment. We found the 68 landmark points on the face of the first actor. After we found the points, we extracted the convex hull, so the area surrounding the face in this case. And from the convex hull, we extracted the part inside the convex hull, so the face. Our goal will be now to put the face of the first actor into the face of the second actor, adapting the orientation and the size of the polygon. We will face now some problem, as in OpenCV we don't have any built-in function to change the polygon to change its size, so we cannot just take this polygon and put it in the other face. And also another problem will be that if we stretch the fa this face to adapt to the other one, we will have some really ugly looking face uh, without losing all the proportions. So if we stretch this lower part, the face won't, won't look natural anymore. So we are going to intro introduce today a new concept, which is the face segmentation. And let's see how it works. We found now the convex hull linking the external point this way. This is the convex hull of the face that we found on the image and it corresponds exactly to, to this result. Now we're going to segment the face into many triangles. So let's do it this way. So we take one point, for example, 0, 2, 3, 1, 0, 2, 1, and then 1, 2, 3, 1, and then we do the same, 1 to the second, 3, 1, and so on. So on the face we draw many different triangles. W what is the advantage of this part? And we do the operation on the entire image, splitting into triangles. We are segmenting the face so that later we can swap each triangles from the first face. So from this one, we will swap each triangle with the second one. And in this way, we can keep all the proportions. So it will be... Uh, it will be this way. We take the point 30, point 0 to 31. From the first actor, we extract this part, this triangle, and we will replace that specific triangles in the second actor and we will do this operation for all the triangles in the face. In this way we can keep better proportion than just having only one polygon and all the expression will be natural. So if if the actor changes the expression, for example, if, if he closes the mouth, the upper part of the face won't, won't change while we will work only on these specific triangles that he will have on the mouth. To do this, we're going to introduce 
the concept of Delaunay triangulation. To do this, we're going to introduce the concept of Delaunay triangulation. Delaunay. Delaunay triangulation. Um, the purpose of Delaunay triangulation is that we, without getting into the details of the, the geometric explanation of Delaunay triangulation, the only purpose is to have, let's say, big triangles, not to have triangles with really small angles. So, for example, with Delaunay triangulation, we can have such tri... We can have such triangle like the one that I draw before that will be useful for the segmentation of the face while will be really use, uh, useless to have such uh, triangle linking point 3 with uh, one and three with two and one. This will be a really small triangle that will be useless for our face segmentation. So we'll, with this Delaunay triangulation we will have many big triangles uh, surrounding the face using the 68 landmarks points. Our goal right now is to get these triangles now using Delaunay triangulation on OpenCV. So let's now go on the coding part. This way. So after we found we find the points in convex cell, uh, let's let's leave everything as it is right now, and then after the detection on the face we find the Delaunay triangulation. So Delaunay trian triangulation. We have a built-in function on OpenCV to find Delaunay triangulation and let's use that. Sub div is equals to cv2 dot sub uh, sub div 2d and here we need to specific the rectangle where we want to find the triangles and in our specific case the rectangle is just this rectangle so surrounding this convex hull that we found so there is no point to use all the image as rectangle so let's first find find this rectangle we have an uh, open CV function to get the rectangle from a set of points so it will be rect is equals to CV to dot bounding rect of the point so we give the convex hull and we will find the rectangle so we can draw it uh, CV to dot rectangle on we draw the rectangle on the image and uh, of course we need to extract these points of the rectangle will be uh, x, y, width and height is equals to rect so it will be x and y the first point the top left point and then x plus width and then y plus height and the color of the rectangle is in green, so 0, 20, 55 and 0, and that's all that we need. Let's run it again. And you can see the green rectangle surrounding the surrounding the land, uh, the convex hull. So we have the rectangle. So let's use the rectangle that we just found. We don't need to draw it, so I can even delete this part that we don't need. 
and on subdiv we say the rectangle so we give the rect and now let's let's get the triangles so triangles is equals to subdiv dot get triangle list and we want to find a triangle on the landmark points so we want to pass this set of points from the original image uh, inside this so we have the landmarks points that we found before so landmark points must be here uh, if everything is correct we should have all the triangles all the coordinates of the triangle so let's run the script and let's see what we get and we get some error built-in method triangle list return it no okay Mm -hmm. uh, that was my mistake first we need to put the triangle uh, we need to put the points into subdiv and then we can extract the list so subdiv uh, and we insert the points so we send here landmarks points and only now we can get the triangles so triangles is equal to subdiv dot get triangles list let's now again print triangles let's run the script and exactly we have the triangles uh, you can see here we have many triangles so there is this is x and y of the first point x a y of the second point and x a y of the third point we have one triangle two triangles and so on we have many of them let's now uh, draw all these triangles in the face so we need to do some operation to extract all these points from the array so let's do it step by step we loop through the triangles array so for t in triangles and we print t so let's see what we get we should now we're printing one triangle at a time so it would be triangle and then t and we can see one triangle at a time so now let's extract the points from each single triangle so let's extract first point second and uh, sorry first second and third point so it will be point one pt1 is equals to t zero and t one then let's put them inside a set this way so t0 and t1 would be this let's do point 2 pt2 is equal to mm, let's actually just copy this one and then point 3 and i'm going to change the values and the index so index 0 1 index 2 and 3 and index 4 and 5 and let's just try them print pt1 uh, let's just print one of them it will be enough to see if everything is working correctly okay i'm printing the points let's uh, remember that the points must be integers and here we see tuple so pixel 338 not 0.0 so convert let's convert them into integers so just easy as this integer 
int okay we could correct them one by one like putting say integers uh, of each number or we can correct right away the entire array into integers so let's better do it uh, the entire array so triangles it will be faster triangles is equals to mp dot array and of triangles and then the data type is equals to np dot int 32 and let's run this one and we can see that now we have the integers now next step we have all the points of the triangles so what are we going to do we're going to draw the triangles so we draw the triangle one by one i mean line by line so the first line we connect the point one to the point two c2 dot line we draw the line on the image and we connect the first point pt1 with the second point pt2 then the color let's make it red 0 0 and bgr so 0 0 and 255 and thickness let's say 2 and let's do the same for the other two lines so then we connect the second point with the third point and finally the first point with the third point and once we have this we can run the script and see if the segmentation was done correctly okay this is the segmentation that we want to have of course we don't need to take care of the lines outside but uh, we are not interested in removing them at the moment and this is the segmentation so now that we have triangles will be easy for us we will take the same from we'll do the same operation in the second image that we want to swap will find the triangles also in the second image and later we can simply just swap these triangles and with triangles is easy to change the perspective the rotation and so on this was the second part of the tutorial i hope that the explanation was clear so let me know if you have any feedback to improve it and also i want to let you know that i'm working on some advanced computer vision course that will be available i guess in few months so stay updated and i will let you know when this will be available